Hi, this is Maths3000. Uh, Today we're going to be looking at rotational symmetry. And now, rotational symmetry is the amount of times you can turn a shape onto itself in a one full turn. Now, if you can only turn a shape onto itself once in a full turn, then the order of rotational symmetry will be 1, which means that the shape doesn't have rotational symmetry. If you can turn the shape onto itself um, two times or more, then the shape will have rotational symmetry. And let me just say, the amount of times you can turn a shape onto itself is called the order. So let's have a look at three examples here. So for each shape we've got to determine whether the shape has rotational symmetry or not and also work out the order of rotational symmetry. Now before you start you will need to get yourself some tracing paper. Okay, so let's do example one. So if you notice when I trace the shape I've got my tracing paper upright on the page. So if you use a pencil to trace the shape it doesn't have to be too neat so you don't need to use a ruler another good idea is to put a little arrow pointing upwards so when you've turned your shape a full turn you should know when to stop ok so let's turn the shape around a full turn, so how many times we can fit it onto itself. Okay, so it's not fitting here. Okay, let's turn it around a bit more. Ah, there we go. So that's once. Let's keep turning it. Doesn't fit here. And then we're back at the start now. So that's twice. So we'll count the one at the end as well. So the order here then is two. So if the order order is two or above, then shape does have rotational symmetry. Okay, let's move to shape two then. So again, get your tracing paper. So keep your tracing paper upright on the page, get it nice and level. So again, let's turn our shape around. So it's not fitting here. It's not fitting here. It's not fitting here. So it's just looking like once at the end. Okay, so it only fits once at the end. So the order here will be one. So if the order is 1, then the shape doesn't have rotational symmetry. So let's have a look at our last shape. So last shape we've got an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle has 3 equal sides and 3 equal angles, if you remember. So let's trace the shape. Okay, let's put a little arrow on the side. Okay, so let's turn it. Ah, there we go, so that's one. Ah, there we go again, that's two. And then we're back at the start, so that's three. So the order of rotational symmetry is three. So again, the order is 2 or higher, so the shape does have rotational symmetry. Um, if you like this video, then make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.